I feel so evil and villainous in this look. I love it. So hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of my Halloween series for this year. I'm super excited. So if you guys are new to my channel, hi, what is up? I'm Jana. I make hair videos, so hair transformation videos using wigs and hair extensions. So my Halloween series is going to be all these hair related Halloween looks. So subscribe so you don't miss out on those. But for the first look, we're going to be doing this. So these are Maleficent horns, but they're wrapped in hair, so they're Maleficent hair horns. So I'll show you how I did everything in this video. So I actually made the horns from scratch. So even if you just want to do that and not wrap them in hair, I'll show you how you can do that. And then I use clip-in hair extensions for these, but you can use anything. You can use clip-ins, you can use braiding hair, you can use an old Halloween wig, whatever you want to do. I've seen some girls wrap their horns with their actual hair. So if your hair is long enough to do that, girl, more power to you. You could totally do that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how I made the horns. To start off, I'm going to use this black headband as the base for everything. And then the base for the horns, I'm going to use these. So these are styrofoam cones that I found at the dollar store. If you can't find those, you can use something like this, like plastic cups or paper cups as the base of your horns. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the tip of these cones. Just because of the way that the horns are shaped and the way that they curve, this part's going to be in my way, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. So it looks something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue the styrofoam piece to the headband. And you can see I made little markings on the headband. So what I did is I put the headband on my head and then made markings based on where I want the horns to sit once the headband is expanded. So this is what it looks like with both of the styrofoam pieces on. So now we're going to create a base for the horns. So this is the way that the horns look. They kind of have this curve to them. So what I'm doing is I'm sticking a pipe cleaner into the styrofoam and I kind of bent it around so it looks like this and I doubled it up so I twisted it and that's going to create the little base of the horn so the way it curves right you see where I'm going here so now we're going to thicken it up so what I'm going to do is take some aluminum foil I folded it in half and then we're going to stick this on to the styrofoam and just kind of scrunch it around and around the pipe cleaner and create the shape of that horn so I'm just going to work my way around and you can see very quickly, look at that, the shape is forming you guys. So this is going to be the base of our horn. So I'm going to glue that little foil piece on and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And I used multiple pieces of foil for this so I also added some smaller pieces on the tips of the horns as well just to add extra volume. So this is what it looks like once I have all the foil pieces on. So you can really see the shape of the horns now. And then next what I did was I took some tape to cover up the tin foil just because I didn't really like how crinkly and wrinkly the, <laughs> the aluminum foil was. So I wanted to create a nice smooth surface to work with. So I'm just covering it with tape. This is just painting tape. And then this is what it looks like once it's all covered. So now I have a nice smooth surface to work with. And what I did next was I spray painted it black. So obviously I could have skipped a step if I had black tape, which I didn't, but that's okay. So I spray painted it black and I wanted it to have a black base because I'm going to be using black hair. And in case, you know, the hair doesn't cover everything, you can't see through to like the green tape, for example. You know what I mean? So I wanted it to be the same color as the hair. And if you weren't going to cover the horns in hair, you could just wear them out like that just spray painted black I think they still look really really cool so what I'm doing here is I'm just gluing on my clip-in hair extensions so I took off the clips and I'm just sticking them to the horns and then wrapping the hair around and then once I wrap up all the hair I kind of glue it in place with some more hot glue so you can see right there I just glue it at the end and I also decided to use some got to be glued gel and the spray as well just to keep the hair really smooth. So I kind of use a combination of the glue and the gel and the spray as well. So you can see I'm spraying it there and taking some gel. So that was kind of like my method to smooth everything onto the horn and keep the hair looking good. So there's a lot of gel and a lot of glue in there. <laughs> So yeah, just using some more glue and smoothing down the ends. So I really wanted it to have 
very limited flyaways. I wanted it to be really smooth. So I'm just taking some spray and spraying it down as well. And then I'm just repeating the same steps and I found it worked better when I took smaller pieces of hair, especially near the tips of the horns because that's where it got a little tricky. So there's a lot of gel on the tips there. And I had some extra hair. So to finish off the look, I decided to wrap the headband in some hair as well. So I just glued a little bit to the top there and wrapped it around just to finish off the look. And voila, this is what they look like on. So I just have a black synthetic wig from Amazon and then the horns on top. And I think they look super sick. I'm so happy with how the shape came out. I was a little nervous at first, but I think they came out really, really cool. So I'm going to leave a playlist here if you guys want to check out some other Halloween looks that I have done. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.